he had a few issues which were based not on reality and he snapped and he pushed me to the floor. He knocked you over? He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. You cut your back? Yeah, I cut my back. I didn't know about it at the time. But um, yeah, he, he apologized afterwards. It was a pretty nasty experience. He wanted me to, to, to hit him back, but I chose not to. Um, but again, so much of the relationship between me and William and the way that it played out was because of the narrative uh, or the, the distorted narrative that was being pushed through the British press and some people within his office that were feeding him utter nonsense. I asked my brother, I said, what are your plans? How are you and Kate getting up there? Um, and then a couple of hours later, you know, all of the fam family members that live within the Windsor and Ascot area were jumping on a plane together, a plane with 12, 14, maybe 16 seats. You were not invited on that plane? I was not invited. Everyone thought and felt like they knew our mum. And the two closest people to her, the two most loved people by her, were unable to show any emotion in that moment. Right from the beginning, before they even had a chance to get to know her. And the UK press jumped on that, and here we are. And what was that based on, that mistrust? The fact that she was American, an actress, divorced, black, biracial, with a black mother. Those were just four of the typical stereotypes that is a, becomes a feeding frenzy for the British press. She must be a witch. <laughs> He's changed. Um, as opposed to yeah, I did change, and I'm really glad I changed. Because rather than getting drunk, falling out of clubs, taking drugs, I've now found the love of my life, and I now have the opportunity to start a family with her. If you're invited to the coronation, will you come? There's a lot that can happen between now and then. But, you know, the door is always open. The, the ball is in their court. There's a lot to be discussed, and I really hope that they are willing to sit down and talk about it.